hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix microsoft store error code that is 0x8000 fff so if you are receiving this error code while downloading or installing any application or games from microsoft store then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to make sure date and time is correct on your computer so on the bottom right here you can see the date and time so make a right click on date and time and then click on adjust date and time and make sure set time automatically and set time zone automatically is on over here so if this is off you have to go ahead and turn it on and then click on sync now and then try to use microsoft store the next step is to sign out and sign in again on microsoft store so launch microsoft store on the top right here you can see the profile icon click on it then click on your profile uh, click on your account then click on sign out and then again click on the profile on the top right and then click on sign in select your account then click on continue and then enter your pin or password over here and once you're logged in you can go ahead and use microsoft store the next step is to display disable proxy server to disable proxy server go to the start menu then open windows 10 settings click on network and internet then click on proxy now under automatic proxy setup make sure automatically detect settings is on and under manual proxy setup make sure this is turned off so if this is on you can go ahead and turn this off and then try to use store the next step is to update windows 10 to update windows 10 go to the start menu then click on settings click on update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to use store the next step is to update win store apps to update store apps go to microsoft store and on the top right here you can see three dots click on it then click on download and updates and then click on get update and once this is done use store now still you're facing the problem then you can go ahead and run windows store apps troubleshooter for this open windows 10 settings then click on update and security then click on troubleshoot click on additional troubleshooter scroll down and here you can see windows store apps click on it then click on run the troubleshooter and once the troubleshoot is complete go ahead and use store the next step is to clear store cache using ws reset command so go ahead and type in ws reset in windows search box make a right click on ws reset then click on run as administrator and here you can see black screen do not close this black screen uh, wait for this black screen to go away it may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute for this black screen to go away now once this black screen is gone it will open microsoft store once again and then you can go ahead and use store so here you can see the black screen is gone and here you can see microsoft store opening up now you can go ahead and use store now still you're facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and reset store app for this go to the start menu open windows 10 settings once again and then click on apps now click on store go ahead and type in store in search box then click on microsoft store and then click on advanced option scroll down and over here you can see the reset option click on reset and once the reset is done once you see uh, once you see the tick mark over here you can go ahead and use store now you can go ahead and open store and that should go ahead and fix the problem now still you're facing the problem in that case go ahead and restart microsoft install and windows update service for this go ahead and type in services in windows search box and then click on services find microsoft store install service make a double click on it make sure startup type is set to automatic then click on apply now if start is highlighted click on start and then click on ok with microsoft store install service selected over here click on restart and do the same thing for windows update so scroll down here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update make sure it is set to automatic and then click on apply if start is highlighted click on start then click on ok with windows update selected click on restart the service and once this is done you can go ahead and try to use store the next step is to re-register the store app so for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description so copy this link and then open parcel command so make a right click on the start menu 
and then click on Windows Parcel Admin. Make sure that you are opening Windows Parcel as an administrator. So click on Windows Parcel Admin and then click on Yes to allow and then paste the first command over here and then hit the enter key. And once this is complete, run the second command. This command is also provided in the video description. Copy it and paste it over here and then hit the enter key. And once this is done, you close this window and then open store. Still you are facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall Microsoft store. For this, again, copy this command and then make a right click on the start menu and then click on Windows Parcel Admin. Click on yes to allow and paste the first command. This will go ahead and uninstall Microsoft Store from your computer. So hit the enter key after you paste it and Microsoft Store will be gone from here. It's gone. Now when you open store from here, it you will not see store over here anymore. Now after this, go ahead and restart your computer. So click on the power icon, click on restart and after the restart, open Windows Parcel once again and copy this command. All the commands are provided in the video description. Copy it. Make a right click on the start menu. Again, open Windows Parcel Admin. Click on Yes to allow. And this time, run the second command, which will go ahead and reinstall the Microsoft Store on your computer. Hit the Enter key. And this will go ahead and reinstall Microsoft Store. Let me copy the complete command. Make sure that you're copying the complete command. So open Parcel, Windows Parcel Admin and enter the com uh, complete command over here and then hit the enter key and this will go ahead and reinstall Microsoft Store. So now if I type in store, I can see store and you can st start using store. The next step is to run SFC and DISM command. So if uh, Windows file is corrupt, you can go ahead and run these two command. So for this type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command from tab, then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow and then run the first command and paste it over here. Hit the enter key on the keyboard. And once this scan is 100% complete, let this complete. Once this is 100% complete, run the second command. So copy this command and on the command prompt, just type in CMD, make a right click, then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. And after the first command is complete, run the second command. And once this scan is 100% complete, restart your computer and then try to use store. Now the next step is to run inetcpl.cpl command. So for this, you can go ahead and type in inetcpl.cpl and then click on inetcpl.cpl and then go to the advanced tab, scroll down and then make sure TLS use TLS 1.0. 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3 is selected over here. So if any one of them is unchecked, make sure you use TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2 1 and 1.3 is checked over here. Then click on apply, OK and then try to use store. Now in case nothing is working, in that case you can go ahead and update Windows 10 using media creation tool. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down over here. You can see media creation tool. Click on download tool now. And once the download is complete, run this exe file and then you will see the screen. Agree to the terms. So click on accept and then by default upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on next and it will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take time. Once the download is complete, you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. Now this is checked by default. Do not make any changes. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Then you can click on install and after the installation, you can go ahead and log into your computer and then open Microsoft Store and you should not receive this error message anymore. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.